Hi guys, this is Felix from SS1 Performance. Uh, today's video is about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu back in March of 2022. I had quite a bad experience in uh, 2018. I think it was my fifth session. It was at a different gym, a gym quite well known to be sort of pretty brutal, but that's why exactly why I went there, because that's what I wanted. It sounded good to me at the time, but um, unfortunately, I think it was either my fifth or maybe my sixth session, I was starting standing up. I really didn't know what I was doing at all. A guy who had been there for, from memory, I, I think it was maybe a year and a half. I know he got a blue belt not long after. Um, basically did this judo throw on me like, Bang, it was so quick, like it was extremely impressive. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to throw people. I didn't know how to break falls either. My whole shoulder got just ripped up. And um, the next day I had a, a meeting for my startup where I had to um, sort of demo certain uh, sort of exercises and things like that. And I could just barely lift my shoulder. So um, I was very careful about which gym uh, I would go back to and actually I, I didn't go back to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for four years because I was concerned that as soon as I went back someone who's way better than me would just be testing out some technique on me and I would just be like oh here we go again. I asked about this um, place Elevate Martial Arts and Strength in Richmond because someone at uh, Virgin Active had said that it's a, it's a really cool place to train and um, after a few months of sort of considering it, I uh, decided to, to start. I basically went to Carlos Santos, who's the, um, one, of the, one of the black belts there, and uh, got five one-on-one -on -one personal training sessions with him before starting the classes, just to limit any variables. Now, if anyone is thinking about starting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and you are concerned about injuries, um, I think this is a reasonably effective way of starting uh, because what it means is that you get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with someone who really knows what they're doing and in that time um, they can sort of give you the basics so that you know that when you fall you need to slam down your hand on the floor to dissipate the force rather than all of the force going through uh, you know your spine or your, or your core or your hips it's very hard training but no one is trying to actually take your head off <laughs> no one's trying to injure you or anything like that they're actually everyone's there to learn and you know if, if you're with a, a a much higher belt and they get you into like a, just a, a really bad position they will um you know sometimes say if they can see you're struggling um, they will say, look, uh, do you actually know what to do from here? And then sometimes the answer is, uh, no, I have no idea. And they're like, okay, well, try moving your hips this way and then do this and then you can actually get out of it, um, which is, is quite good because if someone knows that they've just checkmated you, they can sort of rip your arm off. But um, at this place, they tend not to. So, uh, yeah, so I, I think that's quite good. Hopefully you guys can get an idea of what Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is like and what's going to happen is over the coming months and years, I hope to sort of do uh, these these kind of, kind of mini series based on you know my 80th session my 100th session and then you get to see the development over time um, so without further ado let's um, let's have a look this is the first video of my uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu 30th session <music> Thank you guys. Brazilians know everybody when they're in London. Very, very close community. Maybe you're gonna have to Sorry. get back into it now as well. On top of everything else. Oh yeah. How did you start? When I got my leg, how you gonna start Nice warm-up. The warm-up is gonna take at least seven minutes, but push him a little bit and then go into some of the techniques you know, already and then you do specific training from the technique and then you do sparring and then work out at the end by the end it's gonna be nice <laughs> <laughs> no. okay. so um how long how long uh, have you been training felix now uh for three months now <sighs> One, side, one, five, and jump high. Backwards. Yeah, I love it. Push your hips high. Excellent. Oh, 
look here. There it is. Nice job. How's that? Carlos, so Carlos, so, so that was the workout? This was the warm up. Oh, the warm up? The warm up. Okay. Yeah, okay. you did a dynamic warm up. Okay. So you done very quick, but now our body is like warm. Okay. You realize the sweat here, everywhere. The muscles ready to walk. Do the work now.